In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create a field name that is a blank. Now let me show you first off why you would need to do that. So let's say I want to look at profit by subcategory. And what I want to do is I want to show a little indicator next to the subcategory that says whether or not it's profitable. Okay, pretty simple. So let's create a new calculated field. I'm going to call it is profitable. And I'm going to say if the sum of profit is bigger than zero, then I want it to be a blank, else I want it to be a circle. End. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stick that next to the rows, and I'm going to go ahead and format it. So I'm going to make it nice and big, maybe make it red, and center it. Okay, pretty simple. Now the first problem is I can see that Tableau is now sorting by this is profitable column. So to fix that, I'm going to actually duplicate my subcategory field put that as the first field in the rows, and notice how it's now sorting by sub, uh, so I need to sort uh, by that field, and I'm gonna untech show header for that particular option. Now, what I wanna be able to do is I want this is profitable here in the, uh, in the header to be a blank, but I still wanna leave the name subcategory. So if I go into my is profitable field, I delete the name and I hit a space, you'll see that I get a calculation error. An empty name is not allowed. But I want to use an empty name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out to this website called ampwhat.com and I'm going to call, I'm going to type in zero width space. Okay, and we get this little field here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on this white box and you'll see it says copied. I'm going to go back over to Tableau and I'm gonna paste that into my field name. Now notice it didn't actually do anything, right? It doesn't look like it did anything, but now I have a valid calculation. I hit okay, and now I have a nice blank uh, header, uh, you know, nice blank field label. So really, really simple tip. Uh, the last thing I would do from here is I would probably go ahead and format this view. I'm gonna reduce my row dividers. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my grid lines. I don't think they're really necessary in this case maybe get rid of my uh, column dividers as well. Okay, so nice and neat. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead, I know this is unnecessary for this video, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna show a nice line there, and I'm gonna put you know, my is prop more of my blank field onto the color shelf. And why not go ahead and make these red as well? So I'm gonna go ahead and make that one red, leave the other ones blue, and there we go. So now we can see the dot matches as well. So again, very, very simple. I'm gonna go out to this website, ampwhat.com. I'm gonna type in zero width space, click on the little box, and then click on this white box and it copies it. And then it's actually creating a Unicode. And as you can see here, I've now created a uh, blank header name. So hopefully you found that useful. It's a really, really neat trick. And thank you again to Ian Baldwin of the Information Lab Ireland. He's a former data schooler and he showed us this trick. That's it, have a good day.